Well, they have some concerns, Keenan, as many lawmakers, mostly Democrats around the country do in terms of how this could affect mail-in voting come November. Now, we've been covering this story since the beginning. It was actually the focus of a recent seven action news investigation. And on Monday, the new postmaster general will testify before the House Oversight Committee on recent changes to the Postal Service that many say can affect Americans most basic right, and that's voting. The Postal Service is not a partisan service. It is the only government service that touches every single American, every single house, six days a week. But in recent weeks, USPS has been dragged into a political fight. President Trump saying just days ago that he opposes federal funding for the service because he doesn't want to see it used for mail-in voting in November. Democratic Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, a former USPS worker, says Congress needs to work together on this across aisles. House Democrats are expected to vote this weekend on a $25 billion boost to the Postal Service. We need to have the Republican leader, Mitch McConnell, bring us back to Washington, as Speaker Pelosi has, so we need to act on it. Congresswoman Lawrence and Senator Gary Peters recently launched an investigation into Postal Service delays. This comes as USPS agrees to stop the removal of certain collection boxes, following reports in the past week of the iconic blue boxes being taken off some street corners. Over the weekend, the Postal Service saying the removals were routine and done to identify seldom used collection boxes. Representative Lawrence now warning Michiganders to be proactive as the USPS drama is sorted out. You must make sure that your ballot gets to the clerk's office, even if you bypass the mail and take it directly to the clerk's office or drop it in these ballot boxes because we don't trust the post office right now. Well, Jen, what actions are lawmakers taking to make sure the Postal Service uh, stays afloat? Well, they, Keenan, are, are pushing for that $25 billion, which they say the Postal Service badly needs to stay afloat. And also, several states' attorneys generals, all Democrats, are preparing to actually take legal action against the Trump administra administration over recent cost-cutting measures at the Postal Service, which they will make the legal argument infringe on states' constitutional rights to participate and oversee their own elections. This, of course, is something we will be following closely and staying on top of. Keenan. All right, Jen Johnson, live for us this morning in Rochester. Thank you, Jen.